All right, guys, welcome back to another Victoria Events with Caleb Shaw. It is Monday, September 18th. We are flying through this month. It's practically going to be October tomorrow, um, but we're not there yet. So let's just jump right into this. Thank you for coming. You are a friend of mine, and I'm glad to have you here. But for those that don't know you, please introduce yourself and let them know who you are here with. Hi, I am Stephanie Means, and I am here with our K Kids Club from Roland Elementary. And I'm pretty excited about this. What is the, well, wait, we got the K Kids Club. Pretty big deal. Before you tell me what they are, young lady, what is your name? My name is Sadie Gonzalez. And you are, what are you in the K Kids Club? A secretary. A secretary. My friend, big guy right here. What is your name? Camden. Camden. And you are what in the K Kids Club? President. President. So we got the president <laughs> and the secretary here. Pretty excited to have these important people here today. Miss Stephanie, what is the K Kids Club? Um, K Kids Club is a club which provides community service through various projects. Good deal. And so it's a way to kind of get them involved and do stuff back out into the community. And yes, stuff. yes, sir. And not just for like our school, but yes, for the community. So the community, our town, our state, the nation. Just, just to set the bar for everybody, yes. huh? Yes, Outstanding. sir. Outstanding. <laughs> well, I love it. And you guys actually have an event coming up in October, October 7th to be exact. Yes, sir. Uh, you guys are doing a, a 5K. Tell me about it. So that is going to be called uh, the Roadrunner Dash. So okay. Roland Elementary are the Roadrunner, uh, Roland Elementary Roadrunners. Yes, ma'am. So Roadrunner Dash, you know. Makes total no, sense to me. Makes total yes, sense, right? So it's October 7th down at uh, Riverside Park. And the registration is open now. And you can go to runsignup.com backslash Roland Roadrunner Dash. And it should pull up and you can log in. And the price change is not until September 30th, so you still have time to get it at the blocked rate right now. Now, so if, is this on the, also in addition to the website, is it on any of the Facebook pages or any, can I go uh, to any Facebook pages and find it? Uh, yes, sir. Actually, if you're friends with me, you can find it on my Facebook page. You can find it on Roland Elementary Facebook page. And then there is a r Facebook page for the Roadrunner Dash. Great. Well, we will try to make sure we tag it in, in, in the paragraph for this. What does this do as far as, you know, I know these things are, are fundraisers, but they're for a purpose. You know, they go back into the community and stuff. And again, so with the success of this, what do you guys plan on doing with this stuff and, and using it in the community for? So just like last year, we collected um, socks at Christmas time for the nursing home down the street. And we also collected personal hygiene for hospice care. And so um, this year we're planning to do the same thing and then also do more with the food bank. We only got to volunteer one time last year. So with the proceeds that we collect, we hope to just be able to give back more I to gotcha. um, various, like the nursing home, the food bank, uh, personal project, um, you know. The, All the different yes. things, yeah. And then also for our teachers. Um, we did do some things for our teachers and we would, hoping this year we can actually like maybe buy them a lunch or a snack. So or, I'm going to say thank you. Yes. Let them know we're thinking about it. Yes, for sure. Good deal. So are you guys, Camden, and, and say your name again. I like your name. What was it? Jazadi. Jazadi. Are you guys going to be running in this race? Yes. Now, if I go, are y'all going to beat me or will y'all let me win? <laughs> y'all are going to beat me. All right. I, I can already tell. He got that big old smile. Y'all are going to beat me. You, who's, do y'all know who's faster out of you two yet? Are y'all going to race each other too? Yeah, so somebody's got to win, huh? So do you guys like doing this stuff, to, to being in the K-Kids Club, to do these things, to help in your community? Yes. So would you want your friends to join it with you? Say, come be part of the Kids Club with me. Would you like that? Yep. Good. Well, I think you guys are doing a great job. I feel very blessed to have the president and the secretary of the K-Kids Club here to help us and tell us about this. And again, this race is the Roadrunner. <laughs> Uh, Roadrunner Dash 5K, and I like that it's a 5K run slash walk. Yeah. Um, so if, if people don't need to feel intimidated, if you're not a world-class athlete, that's yes. okay. The main point of this is is just to have fun. And is it chip time or anything like that? Is it a fun it run? Is, it is. It is chip time, but, Good. I mean, no pressure. No, no, no. Um, the, the chip time people for the, the yes. crazy ones that, like <laughs> us that, that want to get those times because I'm, yes. I'm not going to a 5K if they don't keep time. And, and so that I get it. Yes. That's for the extreme, but... Who cares if you don't? Like right, it's also, exactly. you know, the it's for the kids. We, that's it. And <laughs> and you can take your family out there. You can push yes. a stroller. You can walk. You can enjoy the time out in the yes. sun. Hopefully by October we've cooled down. Maybe cool down. to like the yeah. high nineties or something by then. <laughs> Hopefully. But, 
Good. We Lord, will Lord. have medals, so okay. for first, second, third, in different age categories. I think I have eight age categories, gotcha. so first, second, third, and then we will have overall. Uh, me, female and male. Gotcha. Okay. So will you help me tackle Camden soon so he doesn't beat us on the deal and then I'll, I'll let you win at the very end and me and you and, and that way he doesn't beat me? Because <laughs> he got too excited. I can tell he's got to try to beat me. And, and so <laughs> is there anything I'm forgetting to tell him or just come out and have fun? Yeah. 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 I, I was just going to add real quick. These two were in the club last year. So last year was our first year to have K-Kids and we were actually the first elementary in Victoria to have a K-Kids club. So, and um, our Kiwanis, you know, that's mm -hmm. UK Kids Club. So these two were really excited, and they, like, talked about it to their friends all last year. Last year, we had about 17 members. Yesterday was our first meeting, and we had 49 members. Hey, way to go, guys. And that's probably because yeah. you were all out there telling your friends and hyping this up yeah. and getting everybody excited. Way to go. That's yeah. big news. And, <laughs> and I'll tell you, hey, keep doing these things like this. Keep leading from the front. You, it's, it's, it's always better to go out and lead and show people how to do it instead of just telling them to do it. So way to, way to serve in the K Kids Club, way to be the, the secretary and the president. That's a great job. Um, lead from the front. That's the way to do it. Miss Stephanie, yes. they're very lucky to have you as well, too. You're a very kind soul. You do so much. Um, a lot of it flies under the radar that people just have no idea the things that you do, but you're an amazing person. You have an amazing heart, and thank you for being my friend and for all the, the friendship over the years. You've encouraged me in ways that you don't know. You've seen me out like dying trying to swim in lakes and do these races and my wife and I on bike rides and all these things. Yes. You've been a part of all that, but, but you're, you're a great soul and you're a very kind person and thank you for all that thank you do. You. Guys, make sure if your little ones, who, who can be in the K-Kids Club real fast? Sorry. Anywhere. Ages zero through 100. <laughs> Right, I need to feel like a kid again. I, Captain, I'm coming for you. I'm going to get out there, me and you. We're, we're racing, dude. No, I'm just kidding. I, I, I know you'll beat me. But all right, guys, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming, Miss Stephanie. Thanks for all you do. Roadrunner Dash, October 7th. See you there. We'll be right back for the next guest. We are back with our next guest. He needs no introduction. You see him all over town doing great stuff. But just in case you haven't met him yet, my friend, please introduce yourself and let him know who you are here with. I'm John Turner, and I'm here with the Victoria Police Department Community Engagement Unit. Well, you guys, I will always start the show when you all are here by saying thank you because your community engagement is outstanding. Well, thank you. You guys just you do a really good job of being accessible and out in the field and making it to where we feel comfortable walking up and just shaking your hand, waving at you, how you doing? I, you know, not if I'm in traffic, I may do the like, oh crap, I hope they didn't see me because I might be, may or may not be speeding. But right. other than that, you guys, you know, I, I can't recommend enough how much you guys do and I'm grateful to you and so thank you. Um, and on that note, you guys are back with another one because oh, you're you about, back doing stuff. Um, you guys got something going on this Saturday. Tell me about I'm it. I'm telling you, yeah, it's going to be one of our biggest events of the year. It's our National Night Out kickoff party. So every year we introduce National Night Out through this kickoff party. So yep, it's going to be this Saturday from 3 to 6 at the Children's Pavilion in Riverside Park. Roger that. Now, so for somebody that, I'm a brand new homeowner, mm -hmm. or whatever the case may be, and I don't know what National Night Out is, A, what is it, and B, why should I be a part of it? Well, it's part of our ongoing uh, community building campaign, all right? We're trying to get out there and do good things in the community, uh, meet uh, the people that support us, and likewise we support them. So it's just a good way to get out meet your neighbors, and meet the first responders that work in your neighborhood. I was going to say, because it's a collaborative effect between like you guys, the fire department, stuff like oh, that, absolutely. because depending on neighborhood, you may have a police cruiser out there, a fire truck show up, mm -hmm. different things, depending on the coordination of the, the subdivision and stuff, correct? Right, right. It's always a good idea to meet the people that are you know protecting you throughout the day and night. Yes, sir. Now, let's say in my subdivision, I, I, I just moved there, and I don't mm -hmm. really know anybody yet, and I, I haven't seen or heard that we're, we're doing anything for National mm -hmm. Night Out. Could I call up to the, how would that work if I wanted one of you guys to swing by or I wanted to be a part of this, but I don't know if my neighborhood's doing it or not. Oh yeah, it doesn't, and it doesn't have to be any one particular person in the neighborhood. You want to do it, you want to have uh, officers, the fire department come by, yeah, just give us a call at the community engagement unit. 
uh, 485-3808. Uh, we'll answer any questions you have. Gotcha, gotcha. And so this, again, is a free, this is the kickoff party, getting kickoff ready to, party, yes, to set it all up. Uh, we've got all sorts of different sponsors in town, which we're, we're grateful for them helping out. What am I forgetting to tell the people about this? All right, this is, a, like I said, it's a three-hour thing. This Saturday, 3 to 6 at the Children's Pavilion. We've got entertainment throughout. We've got a, we're going dance heavy this year. We've got a lot of uh, youth dance groups that are going to be out there performing. Uh, we're going to have foamed up foam parties. They always put on a good show. Yes, Everybody they do. loves they them. They do. And they've been a huge sponsor for the past few years. Uh, this year, Grace Ranch is going to be out there with uh, horses. So we're going to offer horseback rides. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And, and the, the, the kickoff party is actually the precursor and the setup for a couple weeks later, or maybe Which even the next week. With those neighborhood with block, parties. block parties, you got it, you got and that's that's the ones. Correct me if I'm wrong. Where we the hope is that you join with your neighbors, maybe pick like a a, comp, a, a house in the subdivision, right. and then everybody moves there, shakes each other's hand, and then you guys come in and we get to mm -hmm. meet you all and talk and Absolutely. all that good stuff. And oftentimes these block parties lead into uh, neighborhood watches. Uh, one of the best crime prevention uh, efforts is neighbors simply looking out for each other. Absolutely. You know, once you know the guy next door, you tend to look out for them more than you would a complete stranger. Well, and, and I, I can't piggy that, piggyback that enough because you guys can't be everywhere at no. once. And as much as you try and you do an amazing job, you can't be everywhere at once. And you're exactly right. Those knowing your neighbor, having a relationship, knowing that, hey, who's, who's that trying to right. go in that side window? Mm -hmm. That doesn't look like my neighbor trying to go exactly. in that side window of their house. And it, it, it's good to have those connections. And, and a lot of the times, this is the opportunity to meet all those neighbors oh, that you may right. not have met before. You got it. Yes, that, sir. That's what it's all about, meeting your neighbors and meeting the police and firefighters, uh, paramedics that work in your area. And we are going to have a few uh, city dignitaries out there as well, so you may be able to meet with one of the city council members or whatnot. Good deal. Well, I, I, I think this is awesome. I can't stress it enough because, uh, again, in addition to meeting your neighbors and all of that, I think it sends the right message that, hey, we're in this together, from mm -hmm. one. And then two, you guys are not the enemy. You are part of us, you are our communities, and you are there to protect and serve our communities. And so um, I, I think this is just great to, to just keep extending that olive branch and growing us together. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we're all part of the same community. We all want the same thing. We want to live, work, and raise our families in a safe place. So we're all fighting for that same goal. Yes, sir. Well, again, you guys do a great job. We're very grateful. Is there anything, I'm, what is the, uh, um, do they have to register for this thing or anything? Or just show up? Or what's the best way? The kickoff party, you can just show up. Okay. All right. Good deal. And, and you can, for more information, you can go to the police department's website, victoriapd.com. Uh, pull down the programs and events menu, and it'll have National Night out there. Click on that, and it'll tell you everything you need. If you want to do a neighborhood block party, like I said, just give us a call. Or once again, go to the website. Roger that. Well, guys, we appreciate you so much. Thank you for all that you guys do to protect and to serve us Thank out you. there. We're, we're grateful. Um, let's take a quick break. We'll be right back with our next guest. Since 1932, Walton Volk has been closing mortgages and doing it the right way. The reason why the Volks opened up a bank um, at the height of the Great Depression was because the bank needed to be opened at the height of the Great Depression. And it was good for the community at that time. A lot of the banks were going under. In order to keep that community sound and stable, it was something that they did. I think that that says something about who Wallach and Volk was 85 years ago. And the only way you get to continue to do it is if you consistently do it great. And we plan on doing this for another 85 years. Guys, we are back with our final guest, and I'm excited for this one because I have some quilts that were handed down through my family that came from my wife's grandmother, from my grandmother, and they're very special to us, and they mean a lot to us, and so when I heard of this next guest, I was very excited to have them on, and so without further ado, young lady, if you wouldn't mind, please introduce yourself and tell me who you are here with. Thank you. I'm Karen Greer, and I'm with the Victoria Quilt Guild. I'm, uh, at this point, I'm vice president, but I have been president in the years past. But uh, we were started in 1983 by a group of ladies, and uh, we had our 40th anniversary this year. Wow. And we've had a lot of talented ladies come through. We have about 75 members now. It's wow. kind of down after COVID. Yes, ma'am. But we have a lot of talent in this town, and, 
and you'll see it with our upcoming event. Yes, ma'am, and, and I'm excited for that event, and I, I, I want to get, get to it. But before we do, tell me a little bit about the Quilt Guild of Greater Victoria. And, and you know, it came in in 1983, as you said. What, how did that kind of form, or how did it get together? What was the thought of, was it just a, a, a bunch of ladies that shared a common passion and, and wanted to explore that? Or kind of what was, how did it get going, and, and what's the mission of it? Well, we had uh, Judy Murrah, who was from Houston. She was a very avid quilter, uh, a teacher also. And uh, Susan Manning, who was in charge of uh, the museum. And so they had a, a desire to, to quilt. So they got some ladies together and just kind of build and build and build. And we've been up to about 150 members at one wow. time. But we all love quilting and we want to share that love with the people. We try to teach classes and we have events, and we just love to quilt, and we do a lot of community service. Well, and I, I'm, I didn't mean to cut you off. Mm -hmm. I, I'm glad that you all do that, because I, I question is, is, is quilting become one of those things as, as modern technology evolves, and, and, and now you can go buy these 99 cent fleece blankets, or, or whatever, you know. Is, is quilting one of those things that, if we don't embrace it and teach it to our future generations that will watch it dwindle? Or is it still a, a thriving community in the, the quilting community? Well, uh, that's true, but talking about modern technologies, they've invented so many tools and so many techniques that can do things faster and quicker and easier. It's not the old cut out patterns out of cardboard and have the ladies around a frame doing it all by hand. Now they do it on these huge machines and they can just computerize the design, and it just goes back and forth and back and forth, and they just stand there and watch it. Holy smokes. And you can quilt a quilt in like an afternoon. Wow. So things have really changed, but, but this, the love of it and the, the true skills are still there. Yes, ma'am. And a lot of people are, are using this as a hobby, and a lot of people use it as their income. Yes, ma'am. Well, mm -hmm. and... and you know, on and on, I want to get to this event, but I wanted to see here, you, you've got some just, tell me a little bit about these quilts that you've got, and, and these things are just beautiful. Well, thank you. Uh, back in uh, earlier years, the Kansas City newspaper would publish uh, quilt patterns, quilt blocks, and this one right here is the Ohio Star, and they used to make it with cutting out cereal boxes, triangles, and all that kind of stuff, piecing it by hand, but now you, you can just use a rotary cutter and a ruler and it goes together real fast. And this piece right here is the log cabin. And this is a really early pattern too. And they always started with the red center because that represented the heart of the home. And okay. then they just built around it. But you can see variations of this everywhere. How long did, did you make these? Or yes, these I did. You, how long did like this one take roughly? You Probably know? not very long because this is just a table runner. Gotcha. But of course this one took longer because you had to cut all these little strips and sew them together. and. And I'm not a perfectionist. I'm a get her done. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I'm guilty of the, mm -hmm. the guilty of the same. On that note, with the the Quilt Guild of Greater Victoria, you guys have a 2023 quilt show coming up uh, this Friday and Saturday. Actually, um, th this sounds really neat. Please tell me about this. Okay, uh, it will be out at Holy Family Catholic Church on Mallet, right off the Loop. It's um, uh, from the 22nd and the 23rd, which is a Friday and a Saturday. Yes, ma'am. 10 to 4, and the admission is $10, but if you bring a canned good to donate to the food bank, you can get a dollar off, so okay. we're, we're kind of benefiting them too, but we'll have vendors, we'll have uh, lots of quilts, we're trying for, for 100, but I don't know if we'll get there or not, our ladies have been busy, but not that busy, um, but also we'll have Grapevine Cafe has a lunch thing, so you can have lunch with your friends, and it's just a great way to show off talent in the area, and there are monetary prizes, so they can compete for that. Outstanding. So. What if, say, my wife, for example, you know, her grandmother quilted, and she's since passed. Um, I don't know, I'm probably going to get in trouble with my mother-in-law, but I don't know if she knows the quilting or not, or if that was passed down. If my wife wanted to get into quilting and she wasn't able to learn from her grandmother because she's passed, could she join this group and, and could somebody mentor her? Or so somebody that she, you know... I'm not a quilter, but I really want to honor this because my grandmother did it. Is there somebody that could help her or point her in the right direction or yes. maybe guide her a little bit in, into learning this skill? Yes, we meet at the Art League building down on Bridge Street on the fourth Thursday of the month at, at 9, 9 to 9.30 for, 
for social and then 9.30. We always have programs and we're a very friendly group. We offer classes. And through the Crossroads Art House, we're starting a Monday night uh, sewing class. And I'm Wonderful. teaching that. But we do all kinds of fun things. We're going to move to the Mitchell School, so we're going to call it Mitchell Monday Madness. And, I love it. And, but and there's a lot of people that we're more than happy uh, to teach the skill. And we also do things at the library. Outstanding. Well, A, I appreciate that. Uh, B, you know, one of the craziest things that I learned in the military that I have since forgotten, and everybody laughs when they ask me, you know, what's something you learned in the military? Sewing. And I know that, that and everybody like kind of looks at me weird, but it was, I didn't know how to sew. Mm -hmm. And then it, it was able, little things like putting my button back on mm -hmm. my pants that right. were constantly shooting off because I ate too much or stuff like that. And, and it, it, was a, it was a talent that I, I used and then I forgot it. And mm -hmm. so I'm glad to hear that there's classes there because I, I, that's an art. And, and there's, it, there's knowledge is power and to be able to fix your own stuff and sew your own stuff that's and right. create things and do that. I, I think it's spectacular. Um, again, the 2023 Quilt Show um, is Once Upon a Quilt. Great name. Um, that is this Friday, this Saturday, September 22nd and 23rd from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Holy Family Catholic Church, 704 Millette. Um, you can get canned good, $1 off. Um, admission is $10, and donation quilt tickets are $1 or $6 or $5. Is there anything that I'm forgetting to, to let the people know about? No, we just we want everybody to come out, bring your family, and, and we do have chairs for the men Okay, if they want to sit it out. Wonderful. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Good good taking care of us there. Um, what is the, I got one final question for you. If they want to get in touch with you or they have questions or they want to be a member, I'm assuming y'all are taking new members. Yes, all the time. How do they reach out and what's the best way to contact uh, you We guys? have a website. <coughs> it's uh, uh, uh Quilt Guild of Greater Victoria. There you or just go. Quilt Guild Victoria. Quilt Guild Victoria. And, and yes, there is. I see it right there. We have pictures of our meetings. We have pictures of show and tell. That's a big thing. And then we always have information where how you can contact us. Great. And is we'd love to have anybody. Facebook page yet? Mm -hmm. Is there a Facebook page for the Quilt Guild? Yes, there is. Outstanding. Mm -hmm. Good deal. Well, young lady, thank you so much. I I sincerely. I hope you know that, that these things mean something to well, people. Good. And, I'm glad and they you carry appreciate emotional it. and sentimental value. And, and they also keep you warm. Yeah, and they keep you warm. And, <laughs> That's and right. uh, yes, ma'am. So thank you for that. It, like I said, we have these, these quilts that were passed down in our family, and they mean a lot That's, because they, they, good. they remind us of somebody special That's to right. us in our lives. And so thank you for this gift of love that you make for people. We're very grateful and for having the Quilt Guild of Greater Victoria. So thank, thank you. you so much, young lady. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Thank you to all of our guests, all of our sponsors. We could not do it without you. Uh, we will be down next week, but we'll see you the week after. Have a good one. Thanks so much for tuning in to Victoria Events with Caleb Shaw. Make sure you comment down below, like the post, share the post. It really helps the algorithm. If you haven't done so already, make sure you follow our page. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any episodes. And if you have an event coming on you want featured on Victoria Events, shoot us a message. We'd love to help you get the word out there. Lastly, make sure you support our sponsors. We could not do this show without them, so we're very grateful. Thanks so much, Victoria, and we'll see you at the next one.